Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Cozy Does It. My name's Beth, and I'm really glad that you stopped on my channel today. In my video last week, I told you that I'd probably have my Christmas tree up by this week, but we still haven't gotten it yet. We were planning to get it last night on our way home from a weekend away, which you can read about over at my blog, CozyDoesIt.com, but it was raining when we were on our way back and we usually get our Christmas tree from Home Depot and it's an outdoor garden center. And I was just a little bit worried that the tree would be like soaking wet when we picked it up. So we're either gonna get it tonight or tomorrow. We should have it up by the next video, but hey, who knows? Anyway, for today, I still wanted to do a Christmassy video and I was trying to think of what I could do instead and was looking in our puzzle closet when I was putting away a couple puzzles that we bought on our weekend away this weekend. And I have these two kind of Christmassy Harry Potter puzzles from New York Puzzle Company and I'll show you what they are. So this is the first one. It's called Christmas at Hogwarts and sorry, <laughs> the light. And it is a 500 piece puzzle. I have done this before. I think I could do it in one day, which would be the goal. And I think that'd be a fun Christmassy activity and maybe make some hot cocoa at some point during the day. So this one is Christmas at Hogwarts, like I said. And then I also have this other one, which is the three broomsticks. I've done this one a few times. I really love the scene. I'll zoom in, it's just um, really cozy and it's got Harry, Hermione, and Ron enjoying some butterbeer and magical candies at the Three Broomsticks pub in Hogsmeade. So I'm probably gonna pick this one, but I'm still considering the other one. So. I'll let you know which one I decide and then I will open it up and start sorting the pieces. First, let me just show you how ready I am for my Christmas tree, but obviously not here yet. So hopefully later today or sometime tomorrow. So we have decided to do the three broomsticks one. I refreshed my coffee and I'm gonna open up the puzzle and start sorting the pieces. But let me just give you a good look at the picture on the box. Again, this is New York Puzzle Company. This is a 500 piece puzzle. They do sell Harry Potter puzzles in larger sizes as well. And I think maybe they even sell some uh, smaller formats too, but I like to keep it at 500 pieces at a minimum. I think that's a good amount of pieces for a puzzle to do in a day, and I'm excited to get started. All right.
Okay, so I've got my puzzle roughly sorted as best as possible. I just tried to pay attention to the different colors in the puzzle. And then also I have my pile with edge pieces right there. It doesn't have to be perfect when you're sorting the puzzle. It just needs to make it easier when you actually get around to putting it together, which I'm about to do. I hope you enjoyed that little time lapse of the sorting. And maybe I'll do a little time lapse for each section of the puzzle that I work on. I am gonna work on each of these piles kind of individually and hopefully most of the pieces that I need will have already been sorted into these piles. All right, let's get started. Border done. Only three pieces that I had sorted into the border pile were not actually part of it. So I'm really hopeful about the rest of these piles. Hopefully I have all the pieces that I need in each of them to complete the puzzle pretty quickly.
this is where I'm at with the puzzle right now. And it's been like a while working on it, probably like two hours and 45 minutes. Um, I did take a break for some lunch, but I am gonna keep going. I might put in a few more of the pieces before I restart the time lapse. Okay, everybody, here's what's gonna happen. It is currently 3.15. I'm hoping to finish the puzzle by five and I'm just gonna run the time lapse for the rest of the puzzle and hopefully um, it'll take less time than that, but hopefully, yeah, it's coming along. It looks good, it looks cozy. I put a couple more pieces in and the rest I'm hoping will go a little quicker as there are fewer and fewer pieces left. So, whew, here goes. been completed and it's 405 so much faster than I thought it took about four hours to do this entire 500 piece puzzle I apologize for the weird lighting I only have an overhead light in here but pretty fun and I have my cocoa I'm gonna finish that and yeah, this was really fun. I love this puzzle. I think it's so cozy. You can get these on Amazon. It's New York Puzzle Company. If they have a website, I will link it down below. Um, and then I also wonder if the Wizarding World would have this available for sale as well. All right, let me catch up with you in a minute. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today while I did my puzzle. I'm just finishing my cocoa and I am going to end this video here. I hope that you enjoyed this puzzle video. I had a lot of fun making this one and I kind of want to do some more. So maybe I'll do another video in December with that other Harry Potter puzzle. Please let me know if you like this video. If you don't like this video, maybe I won't do that. So yeah, and as always, I just want to say, Thank you so much for stopping by. It's been so great having you and I hope that you have a really cozy day. And hopefully next week I will have a video of us getting our tree and decorating it and show you the finished tree. So cross your fingers that we can get our tree at some point in the coming days and I can make that video for you. All right, until then, have a great week. Bye.